Hi everybody and welcome to FabTax. I'm Rosemary and thanks for stopping by. Today I have another Valentine's video, this time with some decor items, inspired by the city of love and light itself, Paris, where I'm pretty sure Cupid himself lives. Now, although these items were made with Valentine's Day in mind, they really are year-round decor, anywhere you'd like to add a little romance or some Paris glam flair. These decor pieces are also budget-friendly as they were made mostly with Dollar Tree items. In addition to being great decor items, these pieces would also make wonderful Valentine gifts. If you would also like to see some Valentine gift and Valentine treat ideas, please check out these videos, which I will link in the description box below. But for now, let's get back to this video and some romantic, Paris-inspired home decor. The first DIY is this Pink Pearl Paris Glam Love Sign. I purchased this little cutout love sign from the Dollar Tree. Now this is a hanging sign and it comes with a little twine hanger on the back. I'm going to use this as a freestanding sign, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that twine hanger. Then I'm going to paint the sign with a couple of coats of my Waverly White chalk paint. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to take these pink pearl stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to just outline all the letters with the pink pearls. The stickers come on adhesive strips, so it's easy to apply many pearls all at one time. The strips also break apart easily, so it's easy to just take a few and put it where you need and then add one here or there where needed. They easily bend around curves as well. At Christmas, we had a Christmas miracle when some greens fit perfectly around a box in a Christmas DIY. And now it appears as though we have a Valentine miracle because these pearls, one pack of these pearls, perfectly outline this love sign. And it's as simple as that, all done. Next up is this mirror tray with roses. To start, I'm going to use this ornate filigree um, black mirror that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to use some of these golf balls that I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the golf balls as legs for the tray. And first I'm going to remove the mirror stand. You can just uh, pull that right off, it comes right off. And then I'm going to use a combination of hot glue and E6000 glue. I'm going to just um, add the E6000 to the one side of the ball there, the top of the ball, and then just add some hot glue to the areas on the frame where the ball is going to sit. And then I'm going to just hold that ball in place until the, the hot glue sets up. And then I'm going to repeat the process for all the other balls. I'm also going to tape off the mirror so I don't get any paint on that. And then I'm going to take the whole piece and give it a couple coats of this ultra matte spray paint from Rust-Oleum. Once the paint has dried, I'm going to take a sanding block that I also purchased from the Dollar Tree and just go over the tops of the frame or the mirror's frame and just take off some of that paint to give it a distressed look. And then once that's done, I'm going to just remove that tape from the mirror. To make the miniature rose arrangement, I'm going to take one of these votive candle holders from the Dollar Tree. This is the medium size one. And also a small piece of the floral foam, which I'm going to cover with moss. So I'm just covering it with moss by adding some white glue to the foam and then just adding the moss. You could also do this with hot glue, but I burn myself all the time. So I'm gonna just take my time and do it with the white glue and this way 
no burns. Once the glue is dry, I'm going to just place it right into the top of the votive holder. For the flowers, I'm using these really pretty pale roses from the Dollar Tree. They come uh, six on a stem. And so I'm going to just cut them off where maybe it has about an inch and a half of the stem still attached. I always pull the leaves all the way up to the top of the roses so that they are um, also part of the flower. And what I did was I just put one uh, in the middle and then I just put the others all the way around. And there you have it, a little Paris inspired mirrored tray with roses and add a little candle for that extra romantic touch. DIY number three is a candle holder with a velvet tie candle. To start, I'm using this little ornate filigree picture frame that I got from Dollar Tree. They have them in different shapes. Um, I have the square, uh, but I do believe they have a round one and an oval one. I think the round would have actually worked better with this, um, but I'm gonna use this square one because this is what I have. And then I'm going to just remove again the stand of the back uh, uh, on the back of the frame. And I tore it there a little bit, so I did have to go back and add some of the cardboard back and glued it in just so I had a nice solid surface. Then I'm going to take the frame and the candlestick and I'm going to paint them both with the ultra matte in white again. For the cardboard backer, I'm going to add a piece of scrap paper to the front of that. And I found this one at Hobby Lobby. It's real pretty with the black and white stripes and the roses uh, on top. Since I want that darker rose bouquet with the yellow rose in it, um, I'm trying to mark around there. So I'm trying to mark to the side, the top and the bottom, and then um, uh, long ways to see how wide it is. I'm trying to mark as well that way so that I can get the bouquet that I want centered uh, when I cut it out. Then I'm going to just take a glue stick. I like these extreme glue sticks. They're pretty good. I just got it as a, a sale item from Staples one time and it's like the best thing. It works really, really well. Then I'm going to just apply my piece of scrap paper. You could Mod Podge over that, but since I'm going to be covering it with the glass, I'm going to just leave that as is. Once the frame is dry, I'm going to just add a little distressing with a dry brush that I have some black paint on, but very, 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 very little black paint on it. And I'm just, as you see, I just kind of add the paint, but then I promptly take it back off again, just so that I have just the slightest amount of paint on the brush. And I just go over the tops um, of the of the design of the little, you know, the little crevices and the little top parts so I can get that um, distressed look. For the candlestick, I'm going to switch to a foam brush. And again, very, very little uh, amount of paint. And I'm going to just be using the very tip of the uh, foam brush. And again, just going around. And in this case, I'm, all those raised edges of the candlestick, these Dollar Tree candlesticks are really great for distressing. Um, you can actually just sand those off as well. And the glass underneath does give a really nice age. But since I have a definite black up on top, I wanted to go and do the dry brush on the bottom as well with the very uh, definitive black color. Next, I'm gonna add the cardboard backing back into the frame. And so I'll just uh, place that right in and put the little uh, hooks, uh, holders back in place. And then I'm going to take my candlestick and I'm going to add some E6000 glue to the top. And then I'm going to glue that right onto the back of the frame. And that's why it's important that I put that piece of cardboard back in place because it, this needs to have something to hold on to. 
I'm going to take my little piece of glass, um, that's the frame's glass, and this I'm going to add it to the outside of the frame. So I'm going to just put a little dabs of E6000 in the corners, and then I'm going to just place that glass right up on top. And there you can see what it looks like when it's finished, and it could have all types of uses, but I'm going to go ahead and use it for a candle holder. But first I thought it would be fun to dress the candle up a little, so I took a piece of this black velvet ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, and then I'm going to just crisscross it, hot glue it in place, and then I'm going to take this little wood sticker uh, from the Dollar Tree and just add that to the middle. And here it is again finished, um, this time without anything on it, so you can see the little bouquet underneath, and here it is with the candle that has the black velvet ribbon and the little wood heart. Finally, we have this Paris inspired can with roses. To make the container, I'm going to recycle this 28 ounce can of tomatoes. And I'm going to do that by adding some of this scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby to the bottom portion. I do want to leave a little bit of that silver peeking out. And then I'm also going to use some of this velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And that's going to go in between the paper and the can. To get the right cut, I'm going to just place the scrap of paper on the can and I'm going to go down uh, about an inch, an inch and a half to leave a little bit again of that can peeking through the top. Now in this case, it had ribbing that started just in the right area, but all cans are going to be different. Um, in this case, it was about three and a half inches down from the top. But again, you know, just a measure your can to see where um, you can leave a little peeking out the top and then whatever that measurement should be again because cans might be different your ribbing might start in other location than this can so as long as you have a little of the silver peeking out the top uh, this design will work and then since this scrapbook paper doesn't go all the way around i did have to cut a little filler piece and so i'm going to use some mod podge to apply the scrapbook paper to the can and I'm going to apply that little piece of uh, filler first. And so once that goes on and I make sure that that is nice and secure, I'm going to go ahead and take my other piece of scrapbook paper and wrap it around starting at that spot where the little filler piece is. So first I'm going to take some of the Mod Podge and again, I'm going to go all around the can putting the Mod Podge. Now I am leaving the top of the can free of Mod Podge. I did get some on there, but I am wiping it off because I don't want it to get all clouded and fuzzy looking up there. I want it to have a nice crisp look on the top. So uh, if you do get any Mod Podge on top where you're going to just have the can, just go ahead and wipe that off. Then once I've had uh, all the Mod Podge applied all the way around back to the little filler piece, I'm going to take my piece of scrapbook paper that I cut and then just attach it right there at the little filler piece and wrap it all the way around, securing um, all the way around as I go. And I really kind of push it down uh, to make sure that there's no gapping. I'm really uh, securing the piece of paper all the way around as I go. And then once I get back to my little filler piece, I'm going to take some more Mod Podge and just make sure that that little area where everything connects is nice and secure. Then I went back and just cleaned up any of the excess Mod Podge that I might have gotten on the top. And now I'm going to just let it dry completely before adding a second coat of Mod Podge to the top. Once the Mod Podge had dried, it was time to add the velvet ribbon accent. So I took this velvet ribbon that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I just took a piece and measured it around the can to get a piece that fit exactly around. Then I took some of the white glue and just added it to the back of the ribbon making sure that I got it all the way to the ends of the ribbon. Then I just started from where the little gap piece was and just wrap the ribbon all the way around the can. Once the glue was dry on the ribbon, it was time to do the floral arrangement. So I added some floral foam to the can. 
this is uh, from the Dollar Tree, but actually it's a, a reused piece of a floral foam. And I just cut it to size and, you know, put some little filler pieces in to make sure that it stayed nice and uh, securely in the can. And then I'm going to just add some of the floral moss. Again, this is purchased from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to kind of lay it on top and tuck it into the sides. For the flowers, I used two bunches of those light pink roses that I purchased from Dollar Tree and these stems I cut down to be about five inches long. I started with two roses in the middle and then proceeded to add the remaining roses all the way around. And then there you have it, a sweet little Paris inspired rose bouquet. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this Valentine's and Paris glam decor DIY. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give us a thumbs up and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy this video. If you have a favorite or plan to make any of these DIYs, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on FabTax, where we're putting the extra and ordinary one DIY at a time.